What is up? Amplifies. Oh, is that amp? Amp amp? You weren't even following me on Twitch. Wow. I'm gonna go even longer between answering your DMs now. Vancouver. Maybe. Maybe Vancouver. That's an idea. I'm leaning towards Arizona. I mean, Buffalo's always an option. We did just do them in 21, obviously. They have a lot of good young players already. Hey, that's the thing. I want you guys to be able to draft some nice... I honestly might go Arizona here. Nashville, Columbus, Arizona. It's always in the west. Um, I'm a... Actually, don't know about, uh, Beneers or, uh, Power. I haven't checked that. There's an easy way to do that. In fact, I'm just gonna back out real quick. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We didn't start too much. Delete. Uh, let me check that real quick. Let me... Let me check if they're actually in here. Uh, yeah, I died to think for a minute. <laughs> I almost went to creation zone, but that's not where they are. So, it'd be an edit player. Let's check, because they should be... Yeah, I don't know if they'll be in here. I'm assuming he'd be an elite. Not on this side. And he is... As a college guy, he is. I don't think they have it because it's probably a rights thing. Yeah, they're not in the game. So, wait, what? Why did I go to Abbotsford? Oh, I clicked on Abbotsford because I just. <laughs> um, what the hell's there? Rochester, right? But yeah, no, he's not in here. So it's it's a licensing thing for NCAA guys. Uh, Beneers, I guess, would probably be the same thing. So none of the guys who are in college are gonna be in the game because it's a, it's a licensing issue so you're gonna have to add them or wait till they play a certain amount of uh of nhl games which they're all of them are committed so yeah you're probably not gonna be able to see them which does suck but yeah what can you do all right so let's go I think I'm just going to start with Arizona because they are a god-awful team and picked up a bunch of trash. Yeah, I mean, they're 80. They're, I think, the lowest rated team here. So that gives you guys a, uh, well, hopefully, plenty of uh, room to uh, draft well. All right, so Fog of War, we're going to keep that off. Head coach edit line off. Morale on, and i got to remember to turn off the stupid morale meetings because no one cares about them. All right, and how this is going to work for people in here, I have a, uh, I have a spinning wheel, a random name generator. I'm just going to basically copy names from chat and put it into there. And then it'll be randomized per every, every single draft pick, and whoever chose the last one will... We'll keep deleting names of people so people don't, like, get duplications too too much uh, per draft and stuff like that. So we'll do that real quick. I should honestly... I never, ever save my settings, and I might, might just want to do that. I never do it, though. Is this the time where I actually save my settings? We'll see. All I got to do is click in, and we'll see if we actually do it. It's tempting. Uh, I'm gonna make it easier on you guys. Give you some high uh, draft quality. Because it's fun anyway. That's fun anyway. So, less busts. Hopefully a lot more W's in chat than L's. We'll see. Retired jurors. Oh, you can turn it off from here now. Or has that always been a thing? I thought you had to go... Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. And sliders. Let's do the injuries here. Let's make it a bit more manageable. To where injuries are actually nice and enjoyable. Except for those years when EA decides you're going to get about 1,000 injuries. Alright, hold on. Create new game style. Very creative name. 
and we were ready. They got they got it's uh is that their actual logo again? They they moved away from the uh I, I kinda I get it. The Kachina is very classic. Reminds me when the Sharks used to play these guys in the playoffs back then. They used to do whiteouts at the time, because that was uh that was their actual it was that was when they still used to do home uh home jerseys were white instead of uh the colors. All right, here we are. Yeah, I, I, I do like the Kachina. I got to say, though, does it lose some of its luster as the primary logo now? I didn't mind the old logo, and I like the Kachina. But, I mean, the Kachina is so unique that it's like, how do you how do you hate it? It's really hard to hate it. All right, let's... First things first. Got to figure out the scouting stuff. So get rid. Wow. Oh my. Wow. We got hosed. We actually really got hosed. These are terrible scouts. Man, the Seattle one at least was manageable. They didn't have anything lower than like a C minus. I just had to fire a few guys, and in this one, oh my goodness. Those are terrible scouts. So got to get a. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could leave the NHL ones, sorta, kinda, and then just get this. Yeah, because we're not we're not gonna use them. Fog of War is hot. You know what? I'll even make it easier on you guys. I'll say no NHL scouts. I'll double up on the major leagues for you guys, so you guys have more info. I am so nice. <laughs> okay. Um, man, I don't even know if I'll have enough here of C of just plain C's. There should be, to be honest. There should be enough C's. To really fill it up. Oh, oh, yeah, there absolutely will be. So I'll just, I'll fire them, I'll fire all these ones too. And uh, we'll get that set up real quick. And then hopefully only have to do one, one or two more years after this in year three to get our A team together, literally. So we got 14 to hire. I'm really not going to necessarily care where they are. We're just going to hire and then figure out their, uh, figure out where they're going from there. If they have lower efficiency, it is what it is. Well, I'll skip some of the AHLs because they honestly sometimes have terrible, terrible uh, ratings. So I'm going to try to just skip them if I can. Here's to what I need, like 14? <laughs> Three. I'll, I'll do the NHL ones there a little better. Four. How do you guys think about the new sounds when you click on stuff? It's going to take a while getting used to. Sounds like a seesaw to me. I don't like it. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This green, this green on white, man, it, it's painful. They got to get a dark mode. They got to give us a dark mode. I don't know if I could deal with this. That's a lot of CHL scouts here. All right, how many is this? This is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 out of... Okay, yeah, I was right. I need three more. You know what? Where... Ah, shoot. I have a feeling I should wear my be wearing my blue light glasses for this crap, man. So, beware. I'm about to look like a Pokemon gym leader. I wish I had my goblet. Yeah, this is much better. Blue light special on aisle EA, man. <laughs> Did I hire three already? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> it's so much. Just clicking. What are you going to play, Jaren? Really? Come on, give me my guys. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Oh my god, he's giving it all to us in the first day? Nueve. Trade. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Trading Jay Beagle, how dare you? He's a legend. No trading Jay Beagle allowed. What was I on? Days? <laughs> Lost count to pr Okay. Whatever. Um. Just a couple more here. I think that's it. I 
I'm missing one. I guess I didn't count properly. Markov. There you go. Okay. Get him in here. All right, well, we're 2-1 and one in preseason. Let's actually look at the team, too, before I assign my scouts. No. Never. Don't touch my lines, game. Wow. All right, so clearly we're going to make the playoffs because this team sucks. We're definitely making the playoffs due to EA Sim. Whew. Hutton and Coronage. Sharks legend, Coronage. Good gracious. Thank you for the follow there, Billy. Do it. And hey, that's rude, Jaren. You could have just said the first part. We will have no Tugi slander in chat. He's a good friend of mine. Louis Erickson scratched. The disrespect. The disrespect to Louis. Antoine Roussel sucks. Let's be real. Louis, you got to play. He's got to play. Oh, he hurts chemistry. Oh, Louis. Louie, Louie. No, he doesn't. You know what? That that negative one is just it's it's bias. They can't handle Louie Erickson being as good, so they got it. They got to decrease him down. They got to decrease the line chemistry because Louie Erickson's so good. That that's what's going on right there. So don't don't believe the hype. All right. Oh, okay. O O. No, sorry. That was Dub O Q. All right. So we got one of each. Another dub, Q, two Qs. I need another O. I do have another O. This guy needs to go somewhere else. Let's see what we need. Uh, and USA. Can he go to USA? Perfect. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the one we actually need him. That worked out. He's actually good there. NHL Metro. So a lot of... A lot of dudes. I wish there was a smart option where I could just make them, just put them in an appropriate region, but there's not. Anyway, Russian guy here, that's fine. SHL guy. I need two SHL if we're going to go with no. We have two H SHL. There's one, two Ligas. We got Dell, Russia. I'm going to go with two Russias as well. Uh, NLA. Well, actually, we're not too bad here. All we need is a couple European ones. Ice and... And something else, huh? Looks like it. Wow, it actually kind of worked out. So Dell, NLA. This is, which O was that? Was that the second? Yeah, that's my second. I need him. Just going to go in order. They're not any better than each other. So Addison needs to go somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> I guess he'll go to the ice with a D minus. He'll be fine. There's like, yeah, there's what? 15 guys there. He's got all year. He'll be fine. And I need double Russia. Do I already have double Russia? I do have double Russia already. Mother Russia. So this guy. Vasiliev. He will go to the extra Liga. And then I think we're set. Oh, man. All right. That was actually way, way less painful than I thought it would be. To get those guys all assigned. Which is nice. So, Liga. Liga. We got SHL and another one up top. Uh, Ice. Extra Liga. NLA. Dell. All of Europe. We got Russia. Oh, we got a guy in the NHL. Hold on. Oh, he's supposed to. Yeah, we need double central. I didn't do double central. He's got knee. That's not good. Where's USA East? Can you go to... <laughs> can you go to USA Central, please? Yes, you can. Oh, that's not... That's interesting. Why did it make me click on him? Huh? I've noticed that a couple times. Hold on, let me back out. Okay, I didn't switch at that time. That happened to me when I was uh, doing it on my own earlier for YouTube. Kind of curious about that. Wait, that. Oh, so he. Weird. What? USA West was they looking at him? Well, he can go to Central, I guess. Anyway, this guy B is fine, honestly, for Central. So I'll just do that. I was looking at Bosch, man. I clicked on the wrong one. Look at me blaming the game for my mistakes. But that's what we do here. We blame EA in this house. Uh, wait. Yeah, central. 
And then other dude goes to east. Where? Oh, NHL dude. Oh my goodness. There. Yep. Alright, we're all good. Uh, thank you for the follow up, by the way. M D I R R. M D R. -M -D -R. How do you say your name? <laughs> M D R. M D R. There we go. That's how we do it. Okay. How are we? Yeah, we're at the cap floor. I know that because we picked up a bunch of. Well, Vancouver did stupid stuff and gave us a bunch of one year deals. Still listed as a seller. We should be in good shape. Our team's garbage. Um, I Unfortunately, I don't think we can collect any more picks. Though, that being said, Arizona has a lot of picks already. Yeah, they got three firsts. Two. What? <laughs> what? Five seconds. They got eight picks in the first two rounds. I mean, I was going to do some draft pick restrictions, but this is also a viewer pick, so I, I kind of don't want to now. Holy crap. We don't need to do anything. Let's just sim and get to the draft for you guys. Holy. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, we don't care about how the team performs. I'll go up to the deadline. Maybe we want to make some uh, moves here. All the way up. If this team, if this team sims well, EA, you're in trouble. I'm going to file a complaint. I don't think they will be, though. We still got Kessel, man. We still have Kessel. You never know. Kessel could go off. Oh, goodness gracious. We are above 500, and we're 6-4 and four now. Doesn't matter. You don't need a good team to sim well. Nine and six, especially not in the Pacific Division. What? Carter Hutton has a torn groin. Thank you for the follow, Vlax. Appreciate it. If there's any subs around. I, guess I see one, but Jaren's busy. So you, I'll, I'll, I'll throw out the do it spam. There we go. Appreciate the follow there. Um. Yeah, we got to call someone up. Because Hutton is injured. Oh, my God. Like, what was he doing? Let me look at what. Look at those stats. <laughs> 80 overall goaltender Carter Hutton has a 917 save percentage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who doesn't have to clear waivers? None of them. Well, one guy has to clear waivers, but I guess I call up. Uh, I mean, this guy's probably not playing. So I guess I'll call him up. <laughs> what the heck? So, uh, Yosef Koronash gets to, uh, play some games now. There we go. That makes it easy. I don't even, do we even have anyone good in the AHL? I didn't n n actually check. Not the same. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Why is Ra 2 here? It's not the same, right? Is it? No, that's definitely, that. Uh, Threw me the hell off. Anyway, bottom six, nah. Nah. Sort of. Eh, he's 20. You know what? I might put him in there somewhere if we got space. Uh, Deneen, probably not going anywhere. Let's check that, though. Top six, 69. Nice. Also top six. Actually, I don't... Dude, this is, like, a, not a bad system at all. Sorry, RV. 72, but 24. That ain't happening. Neither is Mayo. So, let's actually do some switching here. I want to get Deneen in there. Eh, maybe not him. Actually, who was it? 20, thank you. You. You get in there. Switch out Mayo. Chemistry's still awful down here. And I can't really fix it. So everyone else, you're fine. Deneen, 23, it's too old, man. I mean, to really make an impact. If they were younger, I'd consider it, but nah. Alright, everything else is fine. 
Everything else is good. So, continue on with this crap team that some is somehow winning. I, I still don't understand this sim engine, and I never will. Uh, Mark Pissick on waivers. 15, 8, and 0 with this team. Makes sense. Yeah, nah, totally. Makes sense. So we know Shane Wright's going to be high elite. And there we go. He's going to let us scout some other stuff. And this guy's going to be an elite, but we're still going to scout it. Still going to do some things and some stuff here. Or maybe to make it harder, I make it I make it all auto scout. And then you guys actually have to try to draft. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to be that mean. Though you do get some auto scout. We're going to see there should be some different... I uh, actually don't know if they made the first round entirely uh, real. And then start EA generating in the uh, second round now. But I'm not... I don't recognize some of these names from earlier today. So they might indeed still be... Uh, Adding in some EA generated guys to fill out the gaps because obviously you don't have access to college guys, etc. So forth. And often you don't, yeah, they don't even have access to the uh, the guys in the U.S. development and stuff. So there's that. Skip over some of them. <laughs> Focus on you know the guys who might be EA generated. That's the play right here. Some of them might be decent and whatnot. Oh, he's, yeah, all Svenskin. We got a guy named Tutu. Let's go. All right. I'm still going to look in that second because you never know. I... The thing with with earlier, I really wasn't seeing too many possible low elites. That was one thing that definitely looked different. It was much, and in fact, like guys who were listed as low in general were simply not popping up as much in that first year. Again, it's such a small sample size, just the first year that I've done so far, but that could be uh, interesting here. Well, we'll get an idea, uh, as we'll probably do a couple years here in this stream. But got to do our due diligence here. You guys got to know. Who the hell you're going after? As we get to uh, the draft. And then I'll start target scouting here. Oh, Reginald. I disagree. Alright, so. We were getting pretty fortunate in our. Uh... Oh, you guys, you guys didn't see. I didn't show you guys the draft class. Yeah, there is going to be a high elite goaltender in our Seattle franchise. Just BT dubs. That guy's real. He's a ginger, so we don't draft him. Just kidding. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Alright. Real. Also real. Damn. Nothing great there. Alright, there's a few more lows here at least. And they all, they look EA generated, so that's a good sign. We got some good signs. That's not a great location. That's an okay location, but he's being looked at. Alright, often, sometimes, accents over the name mean they're real. But I also have seen... Well, I don't know. I can't recall if the EA generated guys can actually have accents on their name, so I feel like I answered that question once last year. <laughs> and now I already forgot. Hey man. What do you want? What do you want out of me? Okay. Other than that, one guy to look at here. That's about it. And I'm gonna double check something. A bit weaker, it says. Interesting. It's set on ours. Hold on, hold on. Stop the tape. Thank you. Um, <laughs> feel the thrill. He's dominating. 16-9 and 0. How? Like, just, just seriously, how? We, in the central. In the central. In the central, we're, com we're competing. I don't, alright. Um, one thing I am going to just check real quick. Is, I want to make sure Auto Scout is actually... Isn't it supposed to be here? 
I had it set to both. I'm pretty sure I did. There it is. Yeah, so I was just making sure because it seemed like we weren't getting as much to look at. And that was the case earlier. So I just wanted to make sure that I didn't screw anything up right there. Anyway, here we are at 32 points. Phil Kessel's dominating somehow. This team is winning somehow. And here we are. Up we go to the deadline. Yoki, how are you on waivers? I mean... I kind of want to cause Buffalo a bit more pain. That's... He's 22, 79, low top 4, but it is top 4. Mine. He's absolutely mine now. He's fully healed. Oh, they sent him down because he got injured? Wow. Dick move. Is he down here? Yeah, he's down here. Let's call him up. <laughs> we just got Yoki Haru for free. That's ridiculous. Alright, AHL, who's sitting? NHL, sorry. Who's sitting? Timmons is sitting. Oh, he's a right D? He's a right D. Soderstrom's also a right D. Ooh, he's listed as minor. Maybe I should switch him out. What do we got in the way of scratches? We only had, well... Yeah, I'll play him. I'll play him. We don't really have any other options. Play him oppo side. Doesn't matter. We'll be fine. Still a good team. Hey, we lost to the Kraken. Carter Hutton's back, so we're going to get back to dominating. Let's just see how good Cornish was doing. Come on. <laughs> like, okay, the goal's against, yeah, but still. Like, it's kind of surprising that 78 is putting up those kind of numbers. I might just keep 10 deck here. Just in case we have another injury. We don't need him down there. And they'll give us a free uh, goalie if uh, a guy in the AHL gets injured. So I'm just going to keep him up here. We don't have, you know, grinder depth and etc. so forth depth. We're fine. Merms. I'm checking them all new. Peace. Alright, so inching closer to 500. But I don't think it's going to happen. Lawson Krause, that was a minor injury. We didn't actually switch him out, I don't think. Good gracious, how are we winning? Alright, there you go. You, f you fell out. We finally fell out. <laughs> After half a goddamn season of being in the playoff picture, we finally fall out. But, yikes. So that's... The sim is still... A big question mark, because... I mean, you know how it is. When we put together a, a superstar team, why are damn damn I can't scout any of them. There's one finally. When you put together a superstar team and it struggles, oh, oh, remember back to this and get angry. We're just gonna get insanely angry at it. Nope. It's the. He's likely gonna be high high six. I mean, pretty much confirmed here in the first round to be high six. But still. We'll see if we can find some uh, fours and sixes here in the second. Which, whoa. Oof, that's only good. That's going to be a bottom six. That does not bode well for this second round. Like at all. Not a good look. All right. Well, here's a low here. Let's hope for the best. Says he might have an X Factor, but he's only got one tick of scouting, so good luck if, if you want to try to base your uh, scouting off of that. There's a goalie right here, which is definitely worth taking a look at. Alright, now we'll switch. Alright, we know about right. These guys are all still being scouted. Okay, there's a guy eh, that's in medium elite steel range for sure. We'll see. And this is all getting kind of late here. That's a goalie, though, so take a look at him. Never mind. Okay. No. Being scouted. Real person. 
too late, but I already clicked on them. <laughs> yeah, so not a whole lot to really take a, take a look at on our own here. All right, at least a few more lows now. But again, some of them are pushing it location-wise to pan out. But the later you go, the better chance. Just going to be with crappy ETA most likely. But at least we got a lot more to look at. This is even more than I was getting with the Kraken, so this is good. Good to know. We're getting quite a few here, actually. Yeah, those extra scout per region definitely benefiting. You're welcome. Camden Lankow. All right. Okay, a few more. A few more to take a look at with the low. I like it. They're definitely all late enough to pan out. Again, though. First year, I don't know how many of those will actually become a low elite, so. Kind of still feeling out process. Okay, nothing there. This guy. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay. This guy's in a good location. That guy's kind of late, but I think I'll look at him anyway, because it did say weaker, which can either mean... Eh, I think in this case it's going to mean probably not as deep. Um, I haven't actually played a lot of gameplay yet. I'm hoping tonight I'll get to play some Ishul with, uh, some of my friends. Or maybe, uh... Maybe with, uh... Three Men at the Point, or... I don't know what we call ourselves now. With Tugi and the boys. <laughs> I might be doing that later. But that'll probably be off stream here. But, I mean, gameplay-wise, it's different. And I like that. It's, I think this, I think it'll help the skill gap. Um, I was with my Bia Pro and with missing so many of those goddamn pass pickups. That was also on full sim. So I'm guessing competitive might be a little more forgiving. So I do like the realism factor of that, but it can be a bit harsh. And if it comes down to an RNG factor like that, that could maybe be a bit detrimental. Um, you're you're kind of towing the line between is it a skill gap or is it going to be an RNG thing? So we'll have to see how it works. We'll have to see how that works out. Um, but all in all, I do like it if they're trending more towards some realism standpoints in the gameplay because it'll reward good hockey play and good hockey IQ rather than understanding how to cheese the game, how to force passes through, etc. and so forth. I'll, I'll like that a lot, a lot more. So hopefully, hopefully that's going to be the case. So we'll have to see. All right, past the Olympic break now. Brandon Davidson, Buffalo, they want to give us another free player. Is he good? No, okay. <laughs> we did to them what the Sharks did to Vancouver earlier. All right, so we're down towards the bottom of the division where we belong. Uh, Sorry, RV got a concussion. Was that a minor or was that an actual concussion? Guess we'll throw Mayo in. Hold the ham. I'll just throw him in here too, man. No one cares. That AHL team's garb. Now we're getting our asses kicked. <laughs> Schmaltz is fully healed. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, he must have been here. Nah, that's... Okay, he wasn't actually out. I was like, wait a sec. Something doesn't add up. See, I talked that crap, and now they're going to make us win. Okay. So we have the... Oh, there you guys. If we're in the lottery, you guys have an easy choice. <laughs> we pretty much have all the info uh, of the top picks there. Huxley's listed as a gem. Maybe even a power forward. Let's get that playing style confirmed if we can. Uh, Geeky is being scout glitched, so that's still a thing, and I know how to fix it. I'm not gonna, because it should be fixed on its own, and I shouldn't have to bypass things. So, make like a pickle and deal with it. There's a steal in the first. Ernesto Greer is uh, making me curious, and I'm gonna keep trying to scout him. This 
Skipping out on that guy. This guy's in a nice location. Oh, yep. Yeah. I keep stabbing on the stupid Allsvenskan guy. Stop being from the Allsvenskan. We know you're not going to be there. No one's going to be there in year th by year three. <laughs> so either generate players A or EA or just remove the region. So I don't know why they don't have players generated there. I've been curious about that. Because it's been like that for how many years now? Where they don't... I think it's honestly been into the old scouting system. Like in NHL 17, I'm trying to remember. I think it was a thing of not scouting the Allsvenskan. But I could be wrong because that's a long time. NHL 18 was when they changed the scouting, right? Or I believe so. I believe so that's when they changed the scouting. Wah, wah. Mm, can't look at him. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, it's that same guy. Stupid Turkov. Well, let's get him scouted anyway. If we can. Most of these guys are going to be being scouted. There we go. Into the potential steel territory. Oh, that's a real guy. Stupid. Look at me looking at real people. Alexander Nikitin. Early for a medium elite steal, but definitely possible. Alright, on to the lows. This guy, he's still what? Is he still two ticks? Come on, scouts. Get better. Alright. Nothing too great. Not a whole lot of different information that I'm seeing. Nothing confirmed. Man. Uh, are we still live? Okay. That was weird. I got a network error on my screen, but then I it said I was still streaming. Alright, cool. <laughs> Interesting. Good old Twitch doing its thing. Scaring the crap out of me. Goalie. Oh, did it give you guys a network error too? That's interesting. Cameron Butler. He's got the high. Yeah. Just a hiccup, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? I only pay a hundred dollars a month for really good internet. Seriously, man, it's ridiculous. I have a gig of download and over 50 upload. Why? Why would I still have issues? Ugh. Okay. Pretty much it. Couple possible one tick lows, but they really have to uh, get good scouting on them to make it. Alrighty, at the deadline, we can sell off some more pieces here. Kessel's having a fantastic year. All right, not as good as he was, but still, 34 goals, 58 points on this kind of team. Kessel's having a fantastic year. Pretty sure he's got a year left. His value hopefully will be a bit higher. Gunther's here. Kessel, not as high as I was hoping, but it is his contract year, so honestly, he's a trade asset. Hold on to Keller, obviously. Hold on to Chikrin. Hold on to Gunther. Schmaltz. Two way forward. I could probably I could trade Schmaltz. I could trade him at the nah. Yeah, I'm getting buffering on my screen too, so I hope it's okay. It says my bitrate's fine. Everything it says it's fine, so hoping for the best here. 
Hopefully it kind of steadies itself out. Let's definitely trade Kessel, though. And in this one, Vegas is doing poorly. That's so weird. Nice record, Toronto. Realism. Realism. Let's collect more picks. I might go into the future here. Although, that's going to be tough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, who's going to be... Ah. That was probably best case scenario for that future first. Actually, I always like kind of going Boston. Because they could always sort of struggle in the years to come. They don't want Kessel, though. Which is highly unfortunate. But we could easily, easily get Kessel. Or trade them Kessel, I should say. That's honestly no no issue. You got to take a crap player back, such as Steen. So that will go through by the looks of it. We can probably grab something else from that year. Kind of go maybe all in on that, on them being hopefully a bad team next year. Quite far off. All right. So maybe not the second. Can 100% get a third though. I'm still surprised they don't want to give up that second. Maybe it's because they don't want Castle. I'll retain just to increase the value. We don't care about cap. In fact, this helps us. Keep 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 on uh, above that cap floor. Yeah, okay. I guess with the second in there, it's a bit too much. So, should definitely be able to get a third, maybe two. A bit off. All right, so... Just a bit more. Let's see if we got any crappy unsigned goalies. Low backup. Boom. Okay. Any other unsigned... Uh... Unsigned Garbo. HL. There you go. Invalid. Really invalid rosters or just lines? I'm pretty sure it's going to be just lines. Like good best lines at this point. We only have Roussel as a first liner. Lol. <laughs> I just didn't want to take Louis Erickson out, but I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about that. Speaking of Louis Erickson, get on that three on three line. There we go. Trade made. That's probably all we're gonna do. We're stocking up on picks. I still kind of, you know what? I still might trade. I still might trade Schmaltz here. He's decent and all, but he's, he maybe works as a third liner, but I don't foresee me using him, like, whatsoever. Chikrin, yeah. Keller, yeah. Schmaltz, absolutely not. I'm, all right, who wants him? Ducks want him. There's zero chance we get a first out of them. Eh? About that zero chance, let's rescind that. Take Kessler. Need the sweet and the value just to touch. That's actually ridiculous. We're going to get there first for next year. Hopefully, they're still kind of a rough team. That that pick had some interesting value. Unsigned, unsigned, unsigned. Come on. I know. I, right, is that the other only one? Bottom six. Boom. Who cares? That's all we needed. Come on. Give me Kessler. Kessler line. No, get out of here, Clayton. All right, we're going to have to put Hayton on the top line. That just has to be. Yeah, I got it. Can't have Keller sucking too much. There you go, Kessler. Enjoy. We brought back Ryan Kessler. Yes. Yo, he, oh, he's still got 89 face-offs, man. Let's go. <laughs> it's going to make a late sulky push. Uh, We are below the cap floor. Hopefully, the game won't care. It might. It, it didn't give me any notifications, so you know what? It might give me the thing where I can't call guys up or down. That's a small price to pay for gathering some picks. Continue simming. Trade deadline game is still broken, as we discovered today. Still bad. 
Ah, uh, good for you. Good for you, San Jose. Nashville. Nashville takes them. Nashville took them, and they get a first and a second. Good for you, San Jose. Uh, Gir Good thing Haz isn't here. Giroud to Buffalo for a first to set. Oh, they get Quinn, though. I wonder if... Yeah, he's probably, he's probably back to a medium six. He's probably back to a medium six, but still. Philly. Dallas trade gets two firsts and Hainala for Klingberg, Petrovic. What the heck? Some wild trades have been happening, man. The computer don't computer don't care. They've been going all and then they put Petrovic on uh, waivers. I mean, we don't need him, but maybe someone does. Tucker Poolman also <laughs> also going on waivers. No thanks. Uh, I don't know where Cody is. Maybe he's playing. That's very topical, what just happened. Kessler, concussion. Alrighty. But it's just a minor concussion, so according to EA, just miss a game and get back out there, you freaking pansy. It's just a bit of light sensitivity. We're losing 1-0 and 2-1. <laughs> Sorry, RV is fully healed. Throw him back up there. Him and Capo Bianco are loving life together. Uh, Christian Fisher has been injured with injured ribs. Did he break them? Did he... Who knows? Nothing really matters. He has injured ribs. Don't ask questions. Wow. We got negative chemistries everywhere. I, I, I didn't even look. Because we were just kind of flying. <laughs> good. That's good. We, we want to lose the remainder here. Let's go. Put us put us at the bottom. I could just keep hitting best lines at this point. What am I doing? I'm trying to like put people in there. I'm I'm always in that mode though. I'm always in that mode when I'm sim simming along. It, I can't hit best lines because EA is terrible. You just can't do it. Come on, lose the rest. Arizona Travis Boyd. I don't think he was actually out. Here we go. 38, 40. I mean, we still did kind of okay. Here we go. End of the regular season. We missed the playoffs, as is the plan. Clayton Keller had a 71-point season. Good. We want him to have a solid production, continue his growth. There you go. Night and day difference. Colorado from this game, or from this series to the Seattle one. That's interesting how that works. Very, very interesting. Uh, so we were not bottom, but St. Louis was with us. You know why? Because Bennington sucks. Um, so we had 79 points. Oh, it's in alphabetical order. Yeah. I want alphabetical order here. Thanks. We're, where'd that, where'd that, and where'd that put us? I could have just sorted. Yeah, not, not super, super bottom. But bottom 10 at least, so decent lottery odds. We should at least have a pick in the top 10. Odds are we have a pick in the top 10. We'll see. We had 2.37 goals for, 309 goals against, which isn't bad considering the kind of team we had. Terrible power play, which makes sense. Is that is it just me, or is that a lot more penalties that were... No, I, don't, I think it's just me. Maybe I'm just not remembering. Yeah, I don't know where Cody is, man. I already answered that, didn't I? Keep looking at chat. We got a bunch of lurkers. We'll see what happens when the draft appears. Oh wait, let's. I gotta check out what happened in the league now, don't I? <laughs> no, he didn't hit 50 points. Clayton Keller, and then everyone else. I know we did have Kessel. Oh, there's Dreisaitl. 108 points. Interesting. Again, I wonder if I'll actually have to use EA's high scoring setting. I, I'm doing it as I did uh, last year with just the. Uh, Is he in chat? He's not saying anything. <laughs> He's lurking. Uh, anyway. Uh, with the scoring thing. But the it's the attribute slider. Attribute effects being all the way up. McKinnon got the most goals, actually. Interesting. Most assists went to Rotten and was 68. Uh, Eichel, about one out of three. 
More game winners. That's pretty damn good. Power play leader. Uh, Kane, power play point totals. Drysaddle, 32. Four for Chris Tierney. And eight total points on the penalty kill for Barkov. That's impressive. I want to see if the Selkie race was as close as it was. So O'Reilly, Kopitar, Bergeron, uh, Couturier, Barkov. I love it. I absolutely love it. Trocek wouldn't be bad. I don't think he has enough face-offs to maybe qualify, but he's got to be considered at least still, in my opinion. Uh, look at Crosby. Oh, look at Giroux. Okay, he didn't take. Never mind. He played mostly wing. Look at Crosby's face-off percentage, man. Pierre Maguire is absolutely stroking it. Wow. That's impressive. Barry led the way in points with 81. Oh, Jesse's here too. Look at you guys. All right. I didn't, I, we, we skipped goalies, but that's fine. Let's get to the draft. Let's get to the fun part. Well, oh, yeah, we got one more, one more scouting, one more batch of scouting for you guys. You have so much info. Look at the info that you guys are gonna have to work with. Don't have much on Kuleshov, unfortunately. And can't really get our eyes on some of those guys. Kote, I wonder if that's gonna be high nine or probably gonna be high nine where he's at. I mean. How much could it be? Like, usually the high sixes would go much, much earlier. I hope they kind of fix that. Too. I highly doubt they did. Let's be real. It looks like they kind of changed some colors, added X factors, and tried to figure out a way to balance those. And that was their... That was EA improvement to franchise mode. I don't think we're going to see too much more besides that. God damn it. Uh, just because they don't have licensing to those people. They're not under the NHLPA. And that's, yeah. Uh, I mean, NBA does it for some of them. They have some of the real coaches in there. So I'm sure it's just a licensing thing, as is a bunch of missing players. That's usually what it comes down to, is licensing. And they don't care enough to pay the people to put them in the game. <laughs> I guarantee you. Guarantee you they just don't care enough to get all the coaches in there and p probably pay them to use their likeness. This guy's still tripping me out, and I wanna wanna know what he is, but too bad, no info, not a whole ton. That guy's at least in there. All right, let's uh, get the spot scouting done and get up to the draft here. We are so close. Uh, hello. Oh, no, I was already... I'll pin him anyway. Pin this guy, too. Might as well. He's so close. Maybe that helps him get a bit more scouting there at the end of all things, Samwise. Jesse, you know we have Aiden Hill. Why would the Sharks re-sign Devin Dubnik when they have another goalie who's already better than him? And then two young goalies, a bunch of young goalies actually, but two in the AHL, who could, at least one of them, Melnichuk, could probably handle some sh minor NHL time. Not this guy. My goodness. Besides, Reimer's most likely going to be the backup anyway, so. There's that. Well, if all things go according to plan, which for Sharks hockey, you can't really say. You never know. The plan was to still be contending at this point. That has gone south quickly. He's never had a full season. Aiden Hill is what, 24, 25? He had Auntie Ranta and Kemper to contend with. He wasn't getting time. Now he's in a place where he can get time, and that's the whole point. We'll see. He got the same amount of time as Ned did. 
And Ned is going to get some decent minutes there in Detroit. I think he actually got more ice time than Ned. I mean, Ned was a Calder contender, but... Carolina didn't care. They said, hey, have him for nothing. Please take him off our hands. We do not want a Calder finalist. Uh, Eklund takes Kane's spot. Eklund is going to make the team out of camp, and that is absolutely insane. I mean, maybe not insane because it's the Sharks, but it's honestly been insane watching his development over this short amount of time. I saw him in, like, the rookie, the rookie challenge thing when the Sharks were just taking on each other in the training camp stuff. He looked pretty good. You're like, yeah, this guy's got potential. Maybe a couple of years. Every single game, he got better. Every single game, William Eklund grew in leaps and bounds. It was absolutely insane to witness. And by the end of it, he had he has like, what, five points in four preseason games. Again, it's preseason, but still. like They're going to at least give him the nine-game trial, reassess from there, and if they don't, they're not 100% certain on it, he's going to go back to Sweden. Not burn a year of his entry level. On the one hand, it might be beneficial to have him develop AHL because of smaller eyes. But on the other hand, cap, Sharks are in cap hell. They need that extra ELC here. <laughs> so, yeah. All righty, guys. Draft is coming up. Edmonton wins the cup. And the Ontario Reign are the Calder Cup champions. This game is so realistic. Uh, wow. Zero movement? No. The New York Rangers and Ottawa Center just switched places. Other than that, that's it. And none of our other picks are up there. That actually kind of sucks. So every single... Wow. That's... I don't think we've ever really seen that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if uh, all the interview stuff is the same. I'm pretty sure it is. Retirement's probably still the same of just the same. Wow, Parise actually retired. Kessler, that makes sense. Philpula, depend yeah. A bunch of kind of nobodies. Retiring that first year. Yeah, makes sense. All right, goalies, no one. Leland Irving played 13 games. Um, uh, where are we? Tucson? Okay, so actually, one of our NHL coaches retired. <laughs> and, alright, no one from our AHL retired. Let's do some pre-draft interviews here. Wow, we, yeah, that's all confirmed. So, pff, I mean, you might, they, we should be able to get an elite. You should be able to get an elite. Don't know if Henriksen is going to pan out, but he's one tick away. Someone to maybe keep an eye on. There's an unknown here. I'll interview. Or not. Because apparently interviews don't work. Okay, no interviews. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Let me... Uh, I gotta inform Clappy about that. Yeesh. Um. <laughs> can't interview players. This is good. Alright, entry draft. First things first. Let's check out the awards here. As we get ready... And you love, you know I love ignoring when you do, Jesse. Uh, for the draft here. Presidents went to Colorado again. And then they fell short. Edmonton beat Pittsburgh, who was in the cup. What a weird cup. Uh, Dry Saddle with the Art Ross and the Hart. Barry got the Norris. Lady Bing to Matthews. <laughs> Called her the new hook. Uh, Barry with the Con Smythe. Kemper with the Avs goes, goes ahead and does that. But either wishing for that as they let Grubauer go. Labushkin, uh, Nashville's coach Jack Adams. O'Reilly got the Selkie. Ted Lindsay to Drysaddle. And Maurice Richard went to Nate Mack. So there you go.